Hello, everyone. I'm Wen Peng Wu, a software development engineer in Intel. Current, currently, I'm working for the Cipher project. Today, I want to share my understanding of the power management framework of Cipher. First, uh, let's look at the goals of the framework. The first one is consume as little power as possible in each system state and don't waste energy when system is idle. And the second one is, is convenient to use and deploy for users. Uh, to achieve the goals, there are two kinds of power management. The first one is the system power management. And another one is the device runtime power management. Uh, first, uh, let's look at the component uh, of the system power management. Uh, there are five components for the uh, system power management. The first one is uh, uh, PM state, and uh, the next one is uh, PM policy, and uh, the next is uh, device PM and the platform PM, and the last one is uh, a PM call. And uh, every component in the framework is shown in the right picture. And uh, I will introduce every component detailly in the next slide. So let's look at the first uh, component, PM, uh, PM state. Uh, First, uh, it's unified the de definition about the power management state uh, so that uh, we have, uh, so that um, uh, we can, sorry, uh, so, and um, the, sorry, and um, the definition is based on the ACPS spec and the Linux power state. And uh, every platform has to map their own power state to safer defined one, so that uh, they, uh, so that safer PM call can um, say the unify the unify PM state. Uh, it's very con convenient for the PM call to do the decision and uh, makes a. Uh, makes the uh, operation accordingly. So this is a PM state. And uh, the next one is a PM policy. PM policy is to make the decision about the uh, next power state of the system. System idle time is one of the factor to impact the decisions. And uh, the constraint US main side is another factor to impact the, the decision. Uh, but why we need the constraint? Uh, let's consider the case. Uh, one device may configure a, a transfer, and while the transfer is ongoing, a system wants to power off the device to enter some one system power state. So if no constraint, uh, the, the, the system will power off the device and the ongoing transfer will, will, will lost. So, so the constraint is also very important for the uh, PM policy to make the decision. So let's, let's look at the uh, APS defined for the PM policy. And it should cover the requirement we talked uh, just now. Every platform should uh, implement, implement it, its own uh, policy following the, this API. So let's look at the API. Uh, the first, uh, first I want to talk about is uh, next, next state API. It will get the next uh system power power state based on the 
uh, current system st uh, status. Mm. And the next one is uh, uh, constraint. We just talk about uh, device may uh, set constraint with this uh, uh, with the API to um, to uh, for the set constraint for the supported power state so that others can impact the, the PM policy when make a decision. And the release constraint is is um, is release the constraint uh, set by the um, set constraint API for the supported uh, power state. Uh, it should be paired with the set constraint. Uh, this is uh, this is a PM policy we defined here. And the next one is the device PM. It's mainly about the uh, maintaining PM state uh, per device instance and doing clock or power operations per the decided system power state with the defined device PM APIs. And the power on off sequence is very Import uh, is very important um, and because uh, there is some dependency uh, between devices. So the implementation is highly depends on the device dependency information from DTS. Another uh, key, uh, key, key point here is the interrupt is enabled when suspending device during which Wake up interrupt may uh, wake up interrupt from device may happen. So uh, device should use the API or PM callier to update if there is pending wake up interrupt to avoid to avoid missing wake up interrupt. Uh, this is a device uh, PM. Uh, okay, let's look at the uh, ne uh, next one is uh, platform PM and uh, uh, PM call. Um, the platform PM layer is straightforward, but the implementation highly depends on every platform. Uh, for example, there may be uh, C C CPU st uh, states and uh, sync between cache and uh, RAM, and uh, RAM re retention, and uh, WFI, and or WFE uh, instruction. And uh, as a PM call, we'll use the standard API or every component to do the system side power management. OK, let's, let's look at uh, API defined for the platform PM. Uh, it's, it's, it's very simple. Uh, there, there will be three uh, uh, three APIs uh, for the platform PM. The first one is initial, and uh, the second one is resume, and uh, the last one is suspend. So, uh, and uh, the decided, uh, PM state will be passed to the suspend and resume so that um, so that the platform layer can do the do their operations according to the PM state. So this is the uh, platform PM and uh, plat and the PM call. Okay, after that, uh, uh, this is all of the uh, component of the uh, systems, system side uh, power management. So after the system power management, there will be uh, device runtime power management. Uh, the definition is, is that devices will dynamically 
go to low power mode when they are not in use, even CPU is running. So um, this is a device to, uh, this is device itself to make the decision to um, uh, uh, to do the device runtime power management. But how to define device not in use? Uh, let's um, let's take uh, let's look at uh, two examples. First, uh, for the I two C, we can put suspend resume callbacks or device run data transfer function, so that when we need some I two C transfer, uh, resume device first, and then uh, and after data transfer, sus uh, suspend the device. Uh, it will save power when device not in use. Uh, but for night device, we can't put uh, suspended resume callbacks around the data transfer because when in high when in high throughput, uh, it's hard to suspend the resume repeated repeatedly without performance loss. So put them around night device. Uh, uh, put put them around device um, open and close is is a reasonable choice. Uh, so uh, it's a device that decide it's not in use instead of device runtime PM framework. So let's look at the APIs defined for the device runtime PM. Uh, Let's look at the uh, operations. Uh, every every device should uh, in, in in play should in in play implement uh, for the device runtime uh, power management. Uh, there are four APIs. Let's look at the uh, PI, uh, post re resume and uh, pre suspend callbacks. Uh, they are used to do stuff without. ARQ locked. Um, for example, a state sync between driver and firmware. Um, device driver should take care of all the possible errors during this ARQ unlocked period, and the results will be indicated by the return value. And the suspended resume callbacks will do the real power or clock involved uh, stuff with our uh, with IRQ log. Uh, the, sp uh, the specific state device will um, device will go uh, comp completely depends on every device. Uh, resume suspend is gen generic uh, definition here. So this is uh, API for the um, device runtime uh, operations. And uh, another one is uh, 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 the K, K APIs for the uh, for the suspend and the resume. Uh, it is designed by uh, based on the user account and some uh, some of the uh, uh, state a eight 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 Mm, where the device is. Um, so let's look at the, uh, the claim. Uh, it's about uh, claim a device to mark the device as being used. Uh, to, uh, it's to make sure any device operation protected by the successful claim is safe, uh, but it can't be used in either. Uh, Another one is uh, release. Uh, it will release a given device. Uh, it, will, it first will decrease uh, the user count uh, of the given device and suspend the device if all of the conditions satisfied. Uh, this function must be called after any claim happens. It can be used in ISAs also. This is a uh, uh, K APIs for the device runtime 
power management. Uh, uh, the implementation is uh, on the GitHub. Uh, welcome um, any suggestions or comments for that. Uh, this is a uh, uh, device runtime power management. Um, this is all, all of the uh, uh, topic about uh, about the power management or safer from or safer. Um, uh, thank you. Any questions? 